Whoa, be careful with my mum and dad's Christmas tree. Fucking hell, Mr. Snowman. Cost him 50 quid, that. My dad bought it off a bloke called Dave in a pub car park. He said it looked a bit bare because he strapped it to his roof rack and came down M62 at 90 mile an hour. This is a Christmas tree decoration, Mr. Snowman. My mum likes to say that this one's just like my dad because he's a massive bellend, but I'm not sure what she means. Hey, have a sit down, Mr. Snowman, and I'll put some TV on for you. There's a special channel that my dad only tunes in when he thinks he's in house on his own. But you can still hear voices though, watch. Oh hi there, Mr. Plumber. Alright, I'll do, cock. What seems to be a problem? Oh, my, uh, my pipes need a good cleaning out. Do they really? I've got just the tool for you, my love. Here we go. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> there we go, all done, love. Hey, come on then, Mr. Snowman, let's go to the kitchen and get you something to eat a drink. Oh, are you sure? I was getting right into that, young man. I oh, say, has your dad got a video recorder? Go to the kitchen and get you something to eat, Mr. Snowman. We've got some Scotch eggs in the fridge and some cans of Stella. But I'm not sure whether you can drink them or not because I'm sure you've got to have tattoos and wear a vest all year round. Put light on to see what we can do, but you can't leave it on for too long because it costs too much bastard money nowadays. Hey, don't do that, you silly bastard. What did I say? My dad says every time we leave a light on in house, it's like wiping his ass with 20 pound notes. Here we go. Oh, look at that. There's no better than a stock fridge, look at fucking that, I tell you what kid, I'll take care of these Stellas, you whip us up a chip butty, and show me that telly again. Has I got any tissues? <laughs> <laughs>